What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys part 15 for my playthrough on Paper Mario the Origami King. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way through the little mine and onto the Scorching Sandpaper Desert. And in today's video, we're going to be making our way to a brand new beautiful city. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. Ooh, my throat's a little choppy. Throw it a little choppy. I got my water right next to me. We are chilling today, but hope you guys are having a great day today. Chilling. We make our way up into this tower. Woo, that's a lot of stairs for you. I mean, thanks for carrying me so often. You think we're in this lanky tower head yet? Um, what is in here? What is in here? I have absolutely no confetti, and we can check these things right here. And cute little window. We can see if we can place something in there. Okay, so I don't think we have anything to place in there. Yeah, we're going to need to go find a new item. So that's what we got to do in today's video and get rocking out with that. Like I said, we're going to be making our way to a cool city it is going to be awesome i cannot wait to show you guys I actually saw this city in the trailer and we're going to be doing it we're going to be doing it there is a little toad ringer going on but i'm not too worried i'm not too worried we're going to get inside our boot and we're going to get moving in my little boost button and dude i really need confetti i really need confetti i have absolutely none and i keep seeing a bunch of uh bottomless holes i see them all over the place well we make our way to the next little sand section and this is the sandpaper miner so this isn't just it's like a minor part of the desert and there's a toad in here. Oh, come here. Come here, toad. Come here, boy. Mac him up. He's in a little bug form. And we do have a little mystery block. Hopefully, it's a full bag of confetti. That could be awesome. Oh, nope. We just got new boots. Flashy iron boots. Oh, things going to be stellar. They're going to be stellar. But if we make it right over here, we see that there is the yellow streamer right here. So, we're going to go over here. Check it out. Can we just, like, cut it here? Why can't we just pull out a big pair of scissors and just cut it? Hey, it's the end of the streamer. We did it. You know, it wasn't easy to get here. Following the red streamer, then the blue streamer, we had some hard moments and some sad ones. But now, finding y'all streamer like this, it feels like we finally caught a break. Dad, bet there's gotta be more to it. Wait, where's the end? Is this thing buried in sand? Of course it's buried in the sand. Why can't we just, like, cut it or something? It's ridiculous. So we gotta go down the bottom and break it on our own. Well, from the source. That's how it works. We cannot get it yet until, I guess, this pillar rises? It's like a little tower or something? I think so. I think we gotta, like, raise the pillar or be find a way in it. Something along those lines. But we chillin' yo. Dude, I love this little desert area. I really do. I think this desert area is rocking out. And there's the bright lights. Like I was talking about, we're going to a cool city. So we're gonna head over that way and uh, check out what's going on here. Let's go. Let's go over to the city. I mean, is there any extra paths? So there's this, oh, the little pokey chill in there. There's that path. That path looks like it leads to the city. And this one comes over here. But dude, this game's been rocking out. The desert, probably my favorite area so far. I cannot wait until maybe we get the sun. Will the sun eventually come out? I'm not too sure, but we make our way this way. And what we got over here? Anything? We got some enemies, all that good stuff. We got some big confetti booze. Maybe I can get some confetti from me. Yo, chill on me. Chill on me, boo. Come here. Come here. Oh. Okay, so I cannot look at you. When I look at you, you get all scared. What is going on? How do I kill this thing? It's like a normal boo, right? I'm like normal Mario games. Let me look at you. Yeah, you get scared, don't you? Go chill on me, boo. Come here. Can't smack you up. So stay still. I'm looking at you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Now, how do I get to you? How do I get to this thing? Like, I don't even know. These boos are annoying me. We got this little, uh, toad bringer going off. Is there a toad in here? Of course there's. Oh, there's, there's a bunch of toads. A bunch of snake toads. Come here, toads. Got a bunch of snakes lurking around now. I can hit a couple. Get one from there. But what is there actually over here? Is there anything that I really beneficial to me? Get a toad again. What's in here? Be Confetti? I need confetti. Oh, there's another snake. Come here, snakey boy. I like how they're just like turning into snakes. I love that little thing that they did with uh, all the toads. Like each place kind of has like the signature thing. Some of them are or signature toad. Some of them are grasshoppers. These ones are snakes. Just fits the place. Anything in here? I think there's a toad around here. I can't even see. There we go. I smacked it. <laughs> I kind of saw a little uh, yellow through like one of the crevices or the little uh, little cracks in the wall. Did did me well. Got over here a fireplace right here. Cannot light this on fire. I got nothing. Unless I throw a firefly right at it. Hold up. Can I do that? Can I pull out a firefly? Let's see. No, we cannot. We cannot just use this. We have to use that in item. I was going to say, can I just like throw a firefly right at it? Yo, boo. Chill on me. Chill on me. I just want this chest. Leave me alone. There we go. Grab the chest. Show me a nice little collectible. Give me an amiibo. Oh, yes, sir. Paper macho boo amiibo. <laughs> we get that. We collected all the treasures. Yo, get out of here, boy. Can I break this wall right here? I legit cannot. Can I go out this way? What's the point of coming over here? Is there something over here? Mystery block? Gotta be something, man. 
But dude, I legit have no confetti. Let's uh, let's head out of here. I kind of did what I wanted to do. Go grab that collectible. Do all that good stuff. There's a snake in here. Nope, just some more confetti. And we're gonna get out of here. I need to call my boot guard to be honest with you guys. Where's my boot whistle at? Pull out my boot whistle. Come here, boy. Come here. Get my boot guard up here, and then we get, get rolling. As you know, you guys know, walking in the desert, it stinks. It's absolutely doo-doo. I'll say it this way. Wait, was there another path on the other side? I kind of definitely want to go check it out. I kind of definitely want to go check it out. Let's get it. Come here. Yo, dude, the pokey's cracking me up, dude. This desert is rocking. Anything over here? There is, yo. There is. Get in there. So, we make our way through here. But in today's video, like I said, we're going to be making our way to a city. And I believe we might have a boss fight going on. Oh, and look at that toad tower over there. You see that? This is a scorching sandpaper on the west side. See a bunch of toads running around. And I see another tower, which I want to go into. Which I want to go into. Oh, wait a minute. Yo, what you mean? Look at this little bug chilling on the side of the cactus. We did one of these earlier. Come here. Come here. You eat, smack it up. Give it to me. Easy toad. Ah, oh, thanks for that. This is the Scorching Sandpaper West, by the way. Proud home of the region's four mysterious towers. Okay. Awesome. Hop back in a boot car. And we're going to go check out this tower. There's a safe point here as well. Where we go pluck those three toads. Hey, yo, what is in this tower, man? Oh, another one of those lanky guys. Lanky guys, they just call them. The lanky toads. Because <laughs> they're just long. <laughs> Let's get it. Hit that save button. Save our progress. And we get moving along. Dude, I wish there was a way to, like, hold extra uh, confetti or something like that. Like, backup confetti. Can I throw, like, confetti right here? I really want to do this. All right, there we go. Do that. What does this say now? You can read it. You can't read this, okay? But we still uh, did that. We got a elemental sign. We got a fire elemental circle that we do not have yet. And I guess more stones that we can put things in? Yo, dude, this place is rocking out. I guess we can't really do anything here just yet. But I feel like I need I need confetti for each tower to kind of uh put, put confetti on those little shrines that I just did. That's going to be nice. Can I smack confetti out of here? Oh, baby. Yo, dude, that was a good bit. Oh, yes. I'm going to get a confetti bag. Yo, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Let's head over here. If I see these things, I definitely got to hit them up. And that toads, these toads right here are looking annoying. Yo, chill on me, bird. Chill on me, bird. I'll pluck you. Bird better not come down here and do me dirty. He's just floating around here. Yo, chill on me, bird. Bird, chill on me. Come here. Come here, toads. We're trying to sneak this. We're trying to sneak this. Get out of here, Toad. We gotta get the last one. Yo, chill. <gasps> I said chill on me, yo. Of course, bird swoops down. We gotta fight. It's all good. I'll give him a quick little whipping. Quick little whipping. Let's line him up. Get going. All right. Uh, how's this? Oh, this lineup is simple, man. There we go. Over there. And then up one again and slide that all the way over. And bang, yo. We got a perfect lineup right here. Um, I think uh, Shiny Boots is gonna be the call here. I think Shiny Boots should be able to take out just the birds. Get him out of here. We got the perfect lineup. And we're gonna hit some excellent hops. Yo, these boys really survived that. They really survived that? Yo, those hunks of junks. Looks like we need to start upgrading to, like, flashy boots and all that. Get it. Bounce, 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 bounce. I was going to say, if they survived that, I'm going to cry a little bit. They got some mean HP. We're going to have to go on a defense right here. Enemy's turn. Get the blocks. Yeah, bro, let's get out of my face. Perfect blocks. I ain't playing around today. I'm not playing around. But if you guys haven't seen my last Pokemon video, in my last Pokemon video, I actually asked if you guys would want me to actually stream Fall Guys over on my Twitch page. If you guys are interested in that, definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you haven't already. But yeah. But yeah, I really want to play Fall Guys. Like, Fall Guys is so much fun. I've been playing it with my friends. I finally got my first win, which is awesome. And of course, these regular or these shiny boots do not kill. But yeah, yo, got my first one. It was so hype, yo. I feel like you guys would totally enjoy me just playing Fall Guys and having a blast, messing around, yelling, breaking stuff, and all that good stuff. If you guys do play Fall Guys, like, you guys know that game is quite annoying sometimes. It's just a pain. Oh, we line all these boys up, and regular boots again should be able to take it out. Dude, the shiny boots are just not doing the job. We need to start buying flashy boots. Get yeah, it, boots. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so weird because we used, we used to just be able to use regular hammers, all this stuff, and then shiny boots and all that were like the bees and knees. Those, those were like the best items in the game. And now we're upgrading to this a whole different thing where we can use all, all these different boots. I need closure. <laughs> I love the little sayings. Can I get this mask? I was going to say, yo, this mask is looking out. Uh, or the little skulls looking a little crazy. But there we go. Collect them toads. We are finally full on confetti. We're going to hop inside this boot. We're going to get rolling. Let's get it, yo. Pokies, get out my way. Pokies, get out my way. Jeans is coming through. Jeans is coming through, and we can start making our way towards those shiny bright lights into the brand new city. If you guys did check out the trailer, or uh, I think it's on the back of the box, to be honest. The city's on the back of the box. It looks amazing. Or the box art, whatever you want to call it. The disc art. I don't even know. They're not even disc anymore. Let me consider the box or the game casing, whatever you want to call it. But yo, 
Look at it, yo. We make it away here. And I've been actually looking forward to this place for a while. Like, ever since uh, I saw it in the trailer or whatever. It just looks amazing. Here we are. We made it to Shroom City. This place looks bumping, yo. Light show everywhere. Sniffits are just own this place. I think it's just ran by Sniffits, I'm pretty sure. It's awesome. Wow, look at this. The lights, the sights. It's all so bright. What a night. I'm a poet, right? Yes, sir. Yo, good work, love you. Uh, can I hop out this car or can I bring it in here? Am I not allowed through here? Oh, we cannot. Boot car parking. There's only one spot. Okay, I'll park it in there. There you go, buddy. <laughs> there you go. We parked the boot car and we make our way to Shroom City. Welcome to Snip City, a desert oasis by... And this only Snippets. Okay. This is only for the Snippets. I guess the Snippets maybe took it over, but these are all paper Snippets. They're not like uh, origami ones, so they are good guys. Now we can explore you. Look at this pond. We're chilling over here. Oh, yo, we have a merchant over here. We have a little merchant. Fun, funky, and functional. I have accessories for sale. Yo, what you got? Yo, the timer plus, silver hearts plus, hidden block. Oh, what should I buy? I only have enough for two. Actually, I have enough for three. I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna spend all my money here. I'm so sorry. We are gonna be broke. We're gonna buy the silver timer plus. This is gonna help us out in battle. It's gonna be huge. I'm gonna buy the silver guard plus. Get that. And we're gonna be left with 16 coins after I buy this final one. Because I feel like the hidden block uh, alert, it's cool and all, but it's. I'd rather get these for battles. Because, like I said, I'm not doing 100% playthrough. But we get all these new silver stuff. So there are gold ones, which we can eventually get later. Let me go equip them on my plus menu. Where's my accessories at? Oh, yes, sir. Look at that. Look at all this. So there's other rings right there. Or not rings. Bells right there. For different accessories. So if, you, if I did buy the hidden block one, I would have to turn off my toad radar. Which is, eh, that's kind of, a, kind of a risky move there. You gotta go one for one, but make your way into these rooms. Anything chilling in these rooms? Why does this mirror look a little weird? Talk to the snippet. Yo, what's good? This place was vacant. I just so moved in here. Free rent and all the rugs I can scuffle across. What a deal. <laughs> Yo, snippets crack me up, dude. I love snippets. They're just like cooler shy guys in my opinion. I don't know why. But there we go. We kind of did that place. Got a little toad ringer right there. And I see the toad. I'll show it to you guys in just a second. Let me uh, fill this out. And I do have a save point here as well. Oh, yo, got some mean money there. I love it. I love it. I need that. But look, you can see the toad up on this tower. Can I knock it down? I guess I got to get up there. But let me hit the save block. Get going there. But the best part about this place is all this... Oh, no, I can't hit this grass. I was going to say we get confetti from this grass. Guess not. But the tree's got to be doing something, right? Yeah, I was going to say the tree's... Oh, yeah, what's these coconuts do? I don't even know what the coconuts do. Did the coconuts just explode? Yeah, they just explode. Like a coin in it and all that good stuff. Dun, 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 hey, dun, dun, hit that. Give me that, baby. Go in there, and there's the place that we have to go to. Is that, like, hotel right there? But I'm gonna keep exploring out on this outside just for a little bit longer. Just see what we're missing and any other collectibles we can get. Give me that. Give me that, yo. Confetti. Confetti. You know that? Is there a tree over here? No, but there is a hidden mystery block, which I would love to take. Get a little coins. And a bench right here. Let me actually sit on the bench. Bench is nice, because give me that full hearts. Na, 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 na. I love it. That's the best part. Whenever you see a bench, you always remember. They give you hearts. So get to it. I break these blocks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, Sniffits? How you guys doing? There's a toad right here. Always the roses. Always the roses are toads. Give me that. I felt like a flower, but I looked like a weed. Story of my life. <laughs> toads, knock it off. They make me laugh so much. But another toad ringing. I'll get some more confetti out of this tree. Come here. Crap ton of confetti right there. Filling up. Um, And then we can make our way this way. Broken stairs there, so we cannot go up that way. There's a hidden block, but it doesn't look like we can make our way through. Welcome to the Sniff City Royal Hotel, Traveler. What's up? How you guys doing? <laughs> oh, it's incredible. We've been working pretty hard, right? Do we even deserve a little rest? Maybe even room service. Or maybe in the room service. But we can make our way into the Sniff City Hotel, and we can check out what's going on and get what we came here for. But yo, it's a party. It is a party going on here. Yo, we got DJ Snippet over here. Hey! What's up? You got a request? Yeah, can I actually request them? Oh, I forgot. I don't take requests. Scram! Yo, what you mean? Yo, these guys are just partying. Look at him. He's on a surfboard. Let's go over this way. See what's going on. We cannot unlock this thing. Can I break it with a hammer? Uh, let me talk to some snippets. Let's see, talk to some snippets. See what's going on here. He's in my seat. And yes, I'm aware that there's another seat open. All right. Let me talk to this one. Bro, I'm vibing so hard with the music. It's like I'm totally oblivious to everything else. Okay. Can I talk to you, snippet? Cannot. I go in this door? This one is open, okay. Door is open, can I do anything here? Break open stuff. Pretty cool. There's a toad chilling there. Yo, come here, toad. Come here, boy. Grab that toad right there. 
And that other door is locked. How do I get in that door? I just want to get in that door. Get chilling and grooving. Oh, that toad left. He was out of here. He wasn't having it. Sniff it over here. Yo, what's good, Sniffy? Sniffits are the coolest people ever. Hey, I found something you might be interested in among all the mess at the front desk. Okay, he found something at the front desk. So maybe we gotta head our way to the front desk. But there's gotta be a way inside this door. Uh, can I hop? Oh, I can definitely hop on this stuff. Right here. Come here. Come here. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, we can hop on this. And there's a valve right there. Okay. Can I hit it? No, I cannot. Okay. There's gotta be something around that I can use. Okay, here's a little tape. I can tear it off so we can go in and out this door. Get off there, tape. Open up that door whenever we want. I break this little box here. There's coins. Nothing in here. Break these blocks right here. Come here. Are you serious? There was a rat in there? Yo, come on, man. I'm not trying to battle. I'm trying to get done my missions. But at least we'll get some coins from this and all, these, all that good stuff. We gotta make that perfect path, though. That's on all. We get three moves. I do that. Now let's reverse that. Um. Hey, right, there we go. Perfect. And then two more moves. Okay, we got this in the bag. I know rats are definitely really, really weak, right? But I should be able to just regular boot them up. They're definitely really weak. Hey. Bang, they should die with this. Yes, they do die. Because I remember, these were one of our first enemies we faced off with. I wouldn't say, were they the first one? I remember facing off with them back in Toadstown in the sewer near the castle. Like, in episode 2, I think it was. We were able just to boot them up, so they were chilling. The regular hammer should just be able to do the job. Should be able to smack them up. Tell them to go home. Hey, yo, rats, get out of here, boy. Watch this, excellent. This one goes out to you guys. There you go, there you go. That was all for you guys. Now we chill and get some coins, yo. I'm low on coins now. Oh, and there we go. We get a uh, a thousand folded arm thing. So I can probably turn that valve now and collect all this confetti. Some wonderful confetti. But yeah, I legit spent 16,000 gold. We rip this up. And I can turn it. Keep turning it. Come here. Come here. There we go. Turn that valve. Oh, and it turns off the water over there. And he was surfing on a toad. I just saw that. He was just chilling surfing on a toad. Yo, these dudes were grooving. They know how to party. Oh man, what happened to the to my wave? Uh, fountain surfing was played out anyway. I'm gonna go back to my room and invent tub surf. Yo, get it. Go tub surfing, my dude. The water drained out from here. We can go in here. We can actually save this toad right here. What's goody, toad? What's goody? Surfing isn't as fun when you're the board. Well, that's all behind me. I'm free. Free to pursue a life where no one can take advantage of me again. I was actually here for a conference on investing. Yo, this dude's here for a conference. My dude, toad, we saved you. Oh, yo, he's giving us a max HP heart. I'll take that all day. It's plus 10. Yo. Let's get it. Going up to 130? It's nuts. Getting all that HP. I remember, what did we start off with? 50 or was it lower? Might have been lower than that. It was it was low like that. I thought that was maybe a toad just sitting on the uh, turntable. The little DJ spinner turntable thing. But I remember that one snippet saying go, go to the front desk, all that good stuff. So we got to make our way over here. Talk to the front desk. Let's do. Welcome, welcome. It's always such a pleasure to encounter travelers like yourself. Unfortunately, we are fully booked at the moment. I heard that sleeping in the desert is an option. Oh, we're not looking for a room. We're looking for a person who can read this mysterious letter. Is there anyone that is staying here? Let's see. Oh, Professor Toad, you're working with him. Okay, cool. Yes, we are working with Professor Toad, I guess. <laughs> but it gives us these keys. Oh, yes, sir. Professor room key. But where is the professor? Okay, so we got to find the professor. I would guess... Mario, I think this clerk thinks we're working with some kind of Professor Toad. How lucky are we? This might be our chance to meet someone who can read this mysterious letter. Okay. Up the stairs at the end. Okay, so he's saying up the stairs is the professor's room. Let's go get it. To the professor's room. Isn't it like a toad? I'm pretty sure it's like a toad professor, which is hilarious. The toad ringer's going off. I don't even see any toad in sight. Well, we go over here. Hey, look at this. There's a huge picture all along the wall. Incredible, yeah. So I see, I don't even know, that looks like the tower, that looks like the fire bell elemental, I don't know what this one is. There's some more mysterious letters, yeah. Everything's written in a different language, it's wax sauce, jeans can't read it. But yeah, this one, I don't know what this is. This is a tower, and this is the fire bell elemental. And then I don't know what this is either. But, to the professor room. So we have the professor key, can we just like, unlock it and go in there? Yes sir. What you mean it's locked? The key isn't working, what's going on? Uh, pardon me, you two. Another snippet coming, yo, my boy. I completely forgot earlier we are... We downer upgraded your friend to a different room. He's on the first floor in the one of our basket rooms. Sorry for the mix up. Okay, so he's in the first floor. Just follow me and I'll show you. Okay, let's go. Where are you going? <laughs> he's just out of here, yo. He booked. He said, follow me, and then he ran full speed. Make our way back downstairs. 
That's so whack. You made us come all the way up here for nothing? Like, what is the point of that? Oh, there's the sniffer. He's chilling over there. Come here. Let's go, buddy. Hey, and here we are. Through this doorway, the first door on your left. My apologies. Okay, so first doorway on our left. Come here. Let's open it up. Use our little master professor key. And it should open the door? Yeah, we do. We do open the door. And nobody's in here. Oh, it's pretty nice. I want a room service for the first time in my hotel. Oh, look at this bed. Classy yet cozy. You gotta do what you always do in a hotel. Oh, Olivia's already on it. Every time you go into a new hotel room, you hop on the bed. Like, that's just a thing. Everybody does that. Oh, I gotta do it, too. Is there anything around here that could help us find that Professor Mario? We'll check. But, we gotta hop on the bed first. Yeah! There's this little note thing right here. Can I read it? Archaeologist logs decks. At long last, a clue this may unlock the secrets of the ancient ones. I have recently discovered an ancient treasure, an item that could prove key in my research. Um, Lucy translated it's my name as a sun incense. And it appears to play a role in certain ancient. I've obtained a sun incense from the snippet for a fair price. My preparations are complete. I now make it make it for the sun altar. Okay. Did you learn, Mario? Is that his journal? Okay, so we need a sun incense for the sun altar. And the sun altar is all the way back in the... Uh, it's all the way back in the beginning. You guys remember. It was where that giant bowl of oatmeal was in the original Scorch and Sandpaper. So we need to find a snippet that's going to give us the sun incense. This door open? Okay, so this door does open. Just talk to all the snippets again. Yo, you got the sun incense? What's the ancient one? Blah, 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 blah. Give me the sun incense. Oh, I can actually do this. Okay, that. Oh, I threw an extra one. I didn't have to. I need coins, though. No toads in here. N nothing's ringing. Me chilling. Where that sun incense at, though? Where it at, though? So, we talked to those snippets. Can we talk to these snippets again? Come here. What you got? Looking for a room? No, go check in the front desk. Let's talk to this dude. Again, see if he's got it. Thanks for your help for the front text sniff at the room. Blah, blah, blah. Something about the room. Don't worry, it happens all the time. Oh, that reminds me, you colleagues was asking for a particular trinket we had on display. I didn't want to sell it. Oh, was this it? Is this it? Does this sniff it have it? Yes, yo, we gave it to us. The sun incense. So beautiful. This is exactly what we came here for. We came here to grab this sun incense right here. And now we can go ahead all the way back to, uh, what is it? The normal scorching sandpaper desert? Hit that save button and go place that sun incense inside that oatmeal bowl. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you guys will see in just a second. Let's get going. Oh, yeah, yo, we party, man. We jamming out here. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, dude, those snippets know how to get groovy. They know how to get groovy. But, yo, Shroom City, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, but we out. We out of 5,000. 5,000, baby. Uh, do I need any more confetti? No, we chilling. Hey, hey. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, we'll probably be back here again. I feel like there, there's got to be another reason we come back here. To be honest. To be honest, there's got to be a whole other reason where we come back here. Oh, my God. I almost forgot. Park my car in this parking spot right here. Let's go. Let's get out of here. A boot car. <laughs> I love how they added that, the boot car. And I just noticed that there's two fences on the left and right of the entrance. So, probably they'll unlock later. So, we'll definitely be back in that area again. No problem. No problem. There's that little streamer right there. And we're going to make our way all the way back to the beginning. The entrance right here, yeah. Dun -dun -dun -dun. I love how open this place is. Like it's just so open and it's just ah, yeah, man. Always looking good. But we're back at scorching, scorching sandpaper desert. It's like a tongue twister sometimes. But right here is what I was talking about. If you come all the way around this way, right? It should be this way. Yeah, right. There's the wood pipe, and there is the uh, the little sun temple thing. And go over here, and I'm thinking I can place the sun incense in it. That's what that little uh, note said. Let's see. Let's get it. Aren't you gonna save here? Uh, sure. I guess I'll save here. I guess there's like a boss fight or something. Like, you're making me save? Last time Olivia made me save, I first, uh, uh, what was it? The dude with the streamer. What was it? The red streamer? No, the blue streamer. I took out the blue streamer. We grab the sun incense and we place it on the little oatmeal thing and it starts smoking. Oh, it's smoking. <laughs> and the smoke is so fragrant. It smells like a sunny day. Uh, it's like we're just laying around here in the sun without a care. Let's get it. This thing's going crazy. Oh, oh! It's getting windy. Oh, tornado. Yo, is that a tornado? What is that thing? I see little spikes. Bro, what is that? Yo, we got versus something. We got versus something crazy. Yo, we're sitting in like a dust storm. This is nutty. Where's my boot car? Oh, no, it's a sandstorm. We are trapped. I'm scared, Mario. What's going to happen next? Yo, what was that thing with spikes? Here it is. Is that a pokey head? I'm trying to think. Is that a pokey head? Like the little pokies? Yo, dude, it is. Yo, my Mario. Yo, my Mario IQ is on point. It is on point. 
We're just on fire with it. Giant Pokey right here, and I guess we gotta fight it. Giant Paper Macho. This isn't good. <laughs> Let's get it, yo. I ain't worried. I'm not worried at all. Yo, what you mean? Get out of here. All right. So it looks like it has these little spots on it right there. Kind of want to get my boot car and drive around. Seems so much faster because look how big this place is. Here he comes. Yeah, yo, boot car is going to be clutch. Yo, chill on me. Chill on me. Chill on me, Pokey. I'm, re I'm ready to give you a whooping. Can I hop out and hit it? Chill on me. Chill on me, Pokey. What are you doing, dog? He's gonna come up and try to hit me. Oh, yeah, chill on me. What you doing? Is he falling? I hop out. I give him a smacking. Oh, it's, oh, okay. So his color goes out. Once the lights go out like a normal uh, paper macho, we can hit him. There's a little heart here. I'll take it. Let me get back in my boot car. 50 HP. Jeez. You gave me a lot there. I didn't even need it. Your tornadoes are coming. Chill on me. Yo, Pokey just whipped on me. Chill on me, Pokey. Fall down again. Oh, there we go. Fall down again. Go lights out. Oh, oh, he didn't go lights out. He's going spins. My boot car. What you mean? Why you gotta take out my boot car like that? Chill on me, Pokey. Chill on me, Pokey. Pokey, chill on me. Bro, can you just turn out your lights? I'm trying to smack up on you. There you go. There we go. Smack up on that end side. And we get another heart every time we kill him, which is awesome. He hit me like a truck. He hit me for 50, dude. We still have a one-up, and we're back here. Can I call my boot car? Give me my boot car. My bins, where's my items at? My boot whistle. Come here, boot car. I need that thing. There it is. Let's get it. I'm not doing this battle without my boot car. Yo, chill on me, Pokey. It's coming air from me. This thing's cooking. Yo, this thing's quick as hell. <laughs> this thing's so quick. There we go. Dodge it up. Let's get it. Hey, yo. Hey, hey. Chill on me. All right, fall down. Is he going to do the spins again? Oh, no, he doesn't. How about? Can I get a whack on him? No! I miss a whack and there's a toad sensor that went off? That's nuts. <laughs> and of course, yo, I got whipped by this tornado. 15 damage in my boot car gone. And I landed on that thing? Yo, what you mean? This game trash. Chill on me, tornadoes. Chill on me. Get out of here. Where's Pokey at? There he is. He's chilling. He's down to two body parts now. He's doing... Oh my god, yo. He's sucking in. Get off of me. I'll break three, man. Oh! All right, there we go. Hop out again. Hop out at your party. We had to go. <laughs> Let's get it. Break that last one. Or not last one. The second to last one. And now we can actually hop back into the boot car. We didn't get a heart for that. That's wax sauce. Got a heart for every single other one. I and mean, it's just a head left. Yeah, I was always just rolling around. Having a good old time. But, yo, it was weird. There was a toad sensor. That went off. You guys saw that, right? Chill on me, Pokey. Chill on me. Oh! Did high jump. About come here, come here, come here. How come I didn't hit him? That is whack. We gotta hit him on straight on top of the head there. Maybe walk up on top of his head and then hit that uh that little stamp. Come on Pokey, what you want, fool? What you want, yo? This is a sick boss battle. I kind of like this ball. These boss battles better than uh just like the normal puzzle ones. Not out right now. Come here. There we go. Get right up there and hit this final stand. That is exactly what we had to do. And we finished off this awesome boss fight. That was probably one of the better boss fights. And I guess that is why the toad sensor? Is that the professor? That's a professor toad, right? Yo, he's chilling. What's goody, buddy? Look at him floating down. That's the best part about Paper Mario is when they fall. Everything falls like that, like a piece of paper. Whoa, look at that weird chunk of confetti. It's your boy. I'm saved. Oh, thank you. You were eaten by a cactus. What was that like? Well, all things considered, it could have been worse. Wait, who are you? I've never seen anything like you. You know, one of those ancient ones. She has you. Olivia's an origami right here. She's chilling, having a blast. But yo, this toad's sick. Well, he's an archaeologist toad. We got the sun incense. We did all that. Hmm, yes, it seems the ancient rituals were observed correctly. Well, you can read that writing? Of course, I'm a professor of the ancient studies. This is written in the language the ancient ones studying. It is my life's work. Beautiful, yo. Yeah? So, we got a new partner? This guy's gonna replace Bobby. Not Bobby, yo. Bobby's the man. I think we're getting a new partner here, which is gonna be dope. Which is gonna be dope. Considering we had Bobby. Bobby sacrificed his life. R.I.P. Bobby. <laughs> and we're gonna be joined by Ancient Professor Toad right here. 
and he's speaking some weird language. Your research sounds pretty complicated, Professor, but we've got a complicated problem too. That streamer in the desert. Yeah, yo, you gotta help us get that. You gotta help us get that streamer in the desert. It'd be chilling. Well, according to my research, there are many extensive evidence about Captain Teod hidden in the desert. Whatever Captain Teod is. As a matter of fact, I was conducting research on this very altar when I was consumed. There was a non-zero chance that I may be or consumed again if I continue alone. Yes, don't continue alone. Chill with me, buddy. Uh, but with Mario by my side, my survival might be assured. Yes, yo. Do I get to choose? Or is this guy just join us? Okay, all this is exciting. Get in work with the actual professor. Yeah, yo, new partner. New partner. Last time we got to choose if we wanted Bobby around. I was like, yo, Bobby, you're coming with us, yo. You're chilling. But I bet you if, if uh, we would have said no to uh, not having Bobby, you probably would have been like, I'm joining you guys anyway. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we are going to be exploring the rest of the desert and trying to find the uh, Fire Elemental with this new Professor Toad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.